Y'all take that, Rocket Boy. Okay. Ready. Ah! Fire! Ah! This thing ain't on autopilot, son. Another satisfied customer. That's right, it's another engineer video. Gotcha. This video will cover one of my favorite parts of engineer, his mobility. Now this may sound weird, because the engineer's speed is nothing special. In fact, it's exactly average. He doesn't have any abilities like the scout's double jump, but he does have the wrangler. To perform a sentry jump, you must build a level 3 sentry. Stand in front of the sentry you built, and then move several paces away and pull out the wrangler. Look down at the ground as the laser dot from the sentry is right under your feet. Now crouch jump and press right mouse button. The rockets should have knocked you into the air, and now you have performed your first sentry jump. Obviously your jump won't be perfect, and you should never expect it to be, but it is still good to practice because you can get better. If you remember in section 1 of this video, I said you may not always need a level 3 sentry. Well, this is what this section is on. Bullet jumping is another trick you can pull with the ring there. It will give you a smaller push than the sentry jumping, but can still be useful if you're using a mini sentry. To perform this, you might want to stand on the top of your sentry and look at the sky, then press left mouse button, and you will slowly be knocked into the air. You can adjust the angle you look at to get a different result, but I found it's most useful when moving in vertical directions. Well, to finally get to the point of this video, these movement mechanics make the engineer much more powerful as an offense or defense class. When on offense, you can use sentry jumps and bullet jumps to flank the enemy, and set up your gear and sneak your locations, or further up the map. On defense, these tools are great for making escapes when your nest has been overrun and you need to get out quickly. Alright, that's the end of the video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll try my best to respond, and if you don't mind, I'll want to talk to you guys for a moment. Thank you for all of the helpful comments on my item level video. They inspired me to continue making these, uh, and also be prepared for more regular content in the future, and I'll see you next year. Have a good day.